also I did a thing. I spent about 400 bucks. Purchase a spin on Watch Games at Will. And I want to watch. And it came in today. So, we're going to go over the spin. I'll show you what I picked and why. Go over the watch. And, uh, yeah. Should be fun. Okay, so here we are on the will.com, uh, watch games the will. Um, different tiers you can go by. I went ahead and went with the luxury tier, uh, will spin. And I already had some credits, so uh, I think out the door, uh, I spent about 400 bucks with tax and shipping for the spin. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm kind of picking brands that I would be happy with receiving. Um, so I'm just using the filter tool on the website to kind of filter uh, the brands that I want to see for each tier. Uh, so for level one, you pick three. Um, my strategy for this spin was to just pick uh, the same watch for all three spots. And uh, of course I went with um, the Regiment Ohio uh, Limited Edition and just picked the same one for all three spots. Uh, level two, uh, I kind of had a similar plan there. I went ahead and filtered uh, by brands that I'd be happy with and uh, it, you'll see when you go to do a wheel spin there are actually a ton of watches to choose from so you kind of have to decide um, what they're selling for aftermarket what they're selling for retail uh, how much your wheel spin co is going to cost you and um, you know whether or not you're actually getting a, a good deal or if you're going to be happy with those uh, so I want to help went ahead and filtered level two um, like right off the bat uh, the devil rays uh, really caught my eye uh, pretty cool design there uh, for a uh, for a watch um, and then they also have the vanguard and the uh, upholder and the Tadaro. Um, so I can just kind of look through the different designs um, kind of weighed my options I think here I'm kind of looking at the different features of each watch uh, you'll see me actually uh, click on one and open it up and uh, just kind of look at the specs, uh, see what kind of crystal we're looking at, um, you know, check out uh, different features. Uh, this one uh, is GMT with a date, uh, super cool watch, uh, super cool design. Uh, so I had that one in mind and then you'll see I kind of scroll down and uh, take a look at some other ones. Um, this one also cool, but I'm not sure about the uh, dial design on that one. Uh, it's not quite my style, but I still want to take a look and see what the specs were, see what kind of movement it had, what kind of crystal. Uh, I think most of the ones that I filtered all have the uh, sapphire crystals, uh, which is uh, important to me with the scratch resistance. Uh, I really like the Tadaros, uh, more of a classy look, uh, more minimalist. Um, and uh, also another watch that I, I would have been happy to receive um, at that price point. So you'll notice uh, most of the watches show retail uh, f well higher than, than what your spin is going to cost you, but at the same time you need to check prices on eBay and just make sure, you know, if you do get the watch and decide you want to sell it, uh, just make sure you're at least going to get your uh, your wheel spin price back, unless you don't care about losing any money and you're just up for the thrill of uh, being able to win a Grail watch. So again, the Vanguard, uh, also uh, a really cool looking watch. Um, I did not decide to go with this one. So after I looked at the specs, I decided to go ahead and scroll back up and I added a Devil Ray as one of my options for level two. Yep, I believe I went with this black one here. Um, again, cool, cool looking watch. Um, I love that the crown actually uh, is uh, luminous as well. Uh, pretty neat feature there. So I, I go ahead and add, I believe, one devil ray uh, to the spin. Yeah, and then I think I scroll down and add um, a different watch as my second option for level two. Uh, level three, um, there again, go ahead and filter and narrow down the list of watches uh, that I'm going to have to pick from. 
So I had a few more options at, at level three, um, a few more brands that I'd be interested in. So I decided to add, add all of those and uh, Ocean Crawler, also another uh, brand you may not be familiar with that, that I was interested in. Uh, so narrowed down the list quite a bit. Uh, I do like uh, this one that I'm about to open and look at. Um, I love the design on that uh, with the orange uh, kind of sunburst dial. But I think I decided to go with a more classy look with the Longine for uh, my level three item. And you can see I'm, I'm just kind of glancing through the list again, making sure I'm not missing anything. And I go ahead and settle on the leather band Longine, which would have been would have been great to win, uh, obviously. Uh, definitely more uh, elegant look um, for a night out on the town. Uh, not as sporty. So level four, I do the same thing as the previous tiers. Go ahead and filter. I don't think I had as many options on level four to filter through. Um, yeah, so a lot of the, you can see I'm picking a lot of the same brands, uh, mainly just because uh, a lot of these other smaller boutique brands I'm just not familiar with, and I probably need to do some more do some more research just to uh, get better acquainted with the options out there. But just to save myself the hassle of going through a tremendously long list, uh, narrowed it down to probably one page on level four. I kind of took my time here um, just because now we're getting into the more, uh, more expensive watches. Um, well, supposedly more expensive watches. Um, this Heritage Diver had a really, really cool feel. I love the brown leather band and uh, the, the simple dial. Uh, of course, um, I can't remember which one I chose here. Looks like I narrowed the filter down a little bit more. Yeah, I'm not super familiar with um, Zeno. Uh, I don't know if, uh, if anyone else uh, watching this video is familiar with that brand uh, and you have some input there, uh, go ahead and uh, drop a comment and let me know what you think about those watches. Um, but yeah, of course, you, you can't go wrong with a Longine, and I think I probably went with one of those for this, um, for this level as well. So this is the Ronda Auto from Zeno. Also a cool band. I like the yellow accents. Kind of has a uh, railroad watch feel. Yeah, so I ended up going with the Longines for level four. And then, of course, the Grail item. Who wouldn't go for the Submariner? I mean, who wouldn't be happy winning this watch? Paying for paying about 400 bucks for a wheel spin, I uh, would have been super ecstatic to get this watch, but that was a no brainer for, for uh, my grail spin. So, yeah, uh, I have already purchased my points and I go ahead and spin the wheel. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, what do I get? Uh, of course, level one, but like I said, still super happy with the win. Um, Applause, applause. Still a great watch. Let's get this puppy open. Nice waterproof case. Oh yeah. Pressure release valve. Wow. All right, so we have rubber straps, 
comes with a metal band attached. Looks like we've got a strap tool and screwdrivers for the band, extra links. This thing, he's girthy. That's a girthy boy. That's what she said. Wow, that is a huge watch. So rated for 3,000 meters. That is a tank. I think uh, if you're on the battlefield and you run out of bullets, you could probably just kill somebody with this watch. Or at least give them a really bad headache. Yeah, we got a uh, helium release valve here. It is automatic, stainless steel case, it weighs a ton. Safety strap, it does have the extra release for diving. Man, I think this might be the largest watch I have ever put on my wrist. That is super heavy, but it's also super cool. Awesome, nice watch. Got some engraving on the back. Uh, let's get some light on it and see how bright it is in the dark. All right, so that's, yeah, that's super bright. It's got a sapphire crystal, scratch resistant. Uh, they only made 1600 of these. It's a limited edition. Uh, retail on the website is $1,300. Uh, I am super happy with the results of this wheel spin. Um, I will probably be keeping this uh, considering it's a limited edition. I do like it. Uh, I will have to get used to wearing it. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, on eBay right now you'll be lucky to get one. Um, under $400 for sure uh, just from the listings that I saw awesome Super cool watch, rugged, like built to last, 3,000 meters. Can you believe that? Just look how thick that thing is. I, uh, I'm super pumped. I will be doing wheel spins again. Uh, uh, I've also got a uh, premium subscription to Watch Gang. Uh, I did a review um, of my first watch. You can check that out here uh, if you want to take a look at it. Uh, just be warned. Uh, that was my first video, and it probably sucked a little bit, and probably gave you more information than you wanted to, wanted to know. But hey, you know, you gotta learn, right? So hopefully my videos will get better over time, and uh, hopefully you will uh, like, subscribe, and share. Eh? Eh? Did you, did you, did you hit the button yet? It's, 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 just, it's just right down here. I'll, I'll wait. a little bit please no, I'm just messing with it anyway uh, yeah hope you liked the video see you soon